So the project that we are gonna be working on today is ugly, it is definitely dirty, and let's face it, it's 2024. A 550 Ti is just not gonna cut it, but fortunately, it's not gonna stay like that for very long, thanks to the TK1. Now, if you have never heard of the TK1, don't worry, cause it's right here. This beautiful thing right here is the Johnsbo TK1, and it is one of the more unique MATX cases that I have ever seen. Now, you can fit four fans inside of here and a 240 millimeter radiator up top, and if you really wanna squeeze a big graphics card in there, you're not really gonna get that done because this will only fit up to 280 millimeter graphics cards. But the thing that I love about this case so much is the glass panel in front. It is actually just one large piece rather than it being two or three separate pieces. This comes off as one unit. And you can ask any moderator in my Discord, I have been talking about this case right here for the longest time, and I guess John's bow was listening because they reached out and they wanted to send me one. Now you guys might think that I am absolutely nuts for wanting to go ahead and put this dusty box inside of this beautiful case right here, but this computer actually has more potential than you may think because we do get a B250M board, and inside of the board, we do have an Intel i7-7700 CPU, and we also get 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, and we get a 600 watt power supply. It also has a Wi-Fi card that comes with it, which we may or may not use. I don't know if we're gonna use that yet, but it is a nice option to have, and we get a 120 millimeter AIO, which is definitely not going inside of our build here today. And I was able to pick up this for $180. Now, because this computer is part of the Build Up Challenge, we need to make sure that this computer looks absolutely fantastic and it performs absolutely fantastic. And I think we have looks down because it's going inside of this John's Bow case. I mean, how could it ever look bad inside of here? Plus, I may have bought a bunch of fun extras to put in there with it. And I'm really excited to see what the final build looks like because it, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of the better looking builds that we've done on the channel. And we've done a lot of really nice looking systems. And for performance, yeah, I got that covered too. Now, if you do not know what the build up challenge is, don't worry, I'm gonna go over it really fast for you. On this series, we build and sell gaming PCs so that we can eventually get to the point where we have sold enough computers and we have earned enough money to build a top tier gaming PC, and in this season of the Build Up Challenge, we are saving up to build an editing PC that is going to hopefully be unlike anything you have ever seen built before, but we need to make some more money, and that computer is gonna have to look fantastic because we already finished season one of the Build Up Challenge, and man, that grand finale PC was something else, and we've already shipped that computer off to the winner of that system, so we need to get to work. Now you're gonna have to join me in waving goodbye to this old dust box because the next time that this PC powers on, it's gonna look and perform so much better. Let's build.
So it's been a long time since I've worked in a case where it, finding negatives is extremely difficult because with every case there's always like that negative aspect you know either it was the cable management inside of it was bad the build quality was was bad the airflow was bad i'm having a very hard time finding a negative experience with this case right here because the build quality is fantastic the the ease of working inside of this thing is also extremely good i just I wish that I would have gotten a TK1 a whole lot sooner because I had an absolute blast putting this thing together. I mean, if you look right here, even where you tighten the GPU down, they have small cutouts built into the case so that when you're using your screwdriver, you have enough space to tighten down your GPU. It's exactly what I expect from Johnsbo. Anytime I have used any one of their cases, I have been blown away with how easy it is to work inside of them. Now, I think that you and I can both agree that this thing right here looks so darn good. Definitely way better than it looked when I first got this computer. I mean, I think we can all agree on that. And I think anybody would be thrilled to have this thing sitting on their desk. But just because a computer looks extremely good, that it doesn't always mean that the performance is there, right? Well, in this computer's case, you would be wrong because in Call of Duty, at an ultra preset, this system was getting an average of 94 FPS. I was having so much fun in the shooters, so I zipped over into Battlefield 2042 at its ultra preset, and this pretty thing was pumping out an average of 72 FPS. Y'all want to see something a little bit more demanding? How about 85 FPS in Starfield? That blew me away. Now, I wanted to see how this system would fare in GTA 5, and you know, just a casual, everyday, 175 FPS average. And lastly, I had to test out Horizon Zero Dawn, because I had been waiting for that game to come out on PC for the longest time, and I played for about two hours on this system, getting a stunning average of 76 FPS at max settings. Don't sleep on a 7700, it's like the little CPU that could. Now let's get down to brass tacks here because this is a series about making money so that we can build the ultimate computer. And we need to talk about how much it costs us to build this beautiful thing right here so that we can deduct it from our total bankroll. Now, the original system that I bought, that gross, dusty old thing, was $180, and that really wasn't much of a deal. That's kind of just like face value for the items that I did take from that system. Now, I will sell the case and the AIO that it came with the, for like maybe 20 bucks each. I mean, it's not gonna be a whole lot of money, but it will be a little bit of money off of the total cost. Now. The graphics card in here is an MSI Ventus 4060, and I was able to pick that up for $240, and that is a good deal. Now, you're seeing the marketplace kind of fill up with these 4060s because they're pulling them out of pre-built systems and they're upgrading to 4070s, 4080s, whatever whatever graphics card they feel like they want to upgrade to. That's what they're doing. So you're seeing a lot more 4060s hit the market and that's how I was able to get this for such a cheap price. But $240 for a 4060 is definitely a good deal and we were getting a very quality gameplay from it. So it is a very good card, even though it is so tiny in comparison to the C CPU cooler in here, it almost looks like the graphics card is just there to hold the CPU cooler up. Either way, great gameplay and still a very good looking system. Now, the total build cost for this system was actually $604 after all of the additional stuff that I went ahead and put in it, which $604 is a great price for a system that is performing this well. Now that's gonna bring our total bankroll back down to $932. And you know what, this, this episode is gonna be a little different. I want you to tell me what I should list this computer for. 
you know, you guys tell me. I'll run through the comments and I'll go through it and see what you guys think. What do you think I should sell this system for? Now, me personally, I'm thinking $800. I think $800 is the right price tag for this computer, but maybe you think it's more, maybe you think it's less. The only way I'm gonna know what you think is if you comment in the comment section down below. But here's a fun little fact for you. Now we have three computers that we're listing for sale and we still have $932 left in our bank. And if I stopped buying more computers and just sat here and waited for those computers to sell, we would have almost $4,000, $4,000. We started this series eight, was this the eighth episode? Yeah, this is the eighth episode. So eight episodes, eight computers. And we went from $1,000 starting to almost $4,000. Wow, man, what a series. Now, I do want to give one shout out to Soundpeats for sending over their really nice headphones here. Now, they're not made for PCs, but I do have a Bluetooth USB adapter, and I was able to plug it into this system, and I was getting fantastic audio quality, and there's a built-in microphone, and I tested that out in Modern Warfare 2, and it seemed like everyone was hearing me just fine, so... I might just use them as my new gaming headphones because I prefer earbuds over those huge headphones anyways. But thanks again, Soundpeats, for sending them out. If you want to check them out, links in the description down below. Now, if my previous statement on halting production on more builds worried you at all, don't be because I have so many more fun builds planned for the weeks to come. And I cannot wait to get to our grand finale where I show you the vision I have for that PC. It, if it turns out anything like it, how it looks in my head, it is gonna be stunning. And I cannot wait for you guys to see what I have planned. And I did wanna take a second to thank all of my channel members. Thank you guys so much for your support on the channel. It means the world. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. And for everyone else, if you had a tiny bit of fun with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, smash the like button as well. I always appreciate it. And as always, no matter where you are in the world, I hope that you are having the most fantastic day. And I'm gonna see you for the next episode.